Hey, I'm Penn USB Mike, and today we are making this smooth little pixel explosion. So let's get right to it. And we'll do the same thing, add some layers, add some frames. And this one's this one's fairly quick. I think it I think it's actually quicker because I'll show you in a second. Get off lock alpha, link these, and then we'll pick same white. And what you do is make it a bit lighter so we can see it. Make a circle, move on to the next frame, onion skin on, make a circle bigger and move it up a bit as if it's going up. Make one more going up and then quickly it's even easier if you turn on the, the symmetry line. You can then add to the end here a bit more. And essentially, we're just doing a circle. It's moving upwards uh, and growing, so it's moving up. First frame small, second it moves up, grows. Third frame, it moves up more and grows even more. And then the fourth frame, it kind of starts disappearing. And then the fifth frame, it quickly starts disappearing. We do with most particles and then it's gone. So it's just a little kind of like ball that moves up and disappears. Doesn't look like an explosion yet, but wait just a moment. So I switched the frames to 75 and hit. One thing you can do with this frame is you can turn off the symmetry and you can kind of, we can drag it, kind of make it, make it, uh, stretch it a bit more like so. And then it comes into that. So let's see how that looks. And it doesn't look like much so far, but let's uh, turn this into an explosion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these frames, copy it. I'm going to paste it one frame before it. I'm going to do the same thing one frame before that one and then one frame before that. So these are all starting a frame after each other and they're all in the same position. So what you want to do is turn off all the other layers so you don't accidentally grab them. Make sure you click on the layer here, layer five, and then you want to move it. So let's move it, move this one up and to the right. Turn that one off, click number four, and we'll move this one up and to the left. Turn that one off, layer three, and we'll move this one kind of down perhaps. And then you can even toggle the first frame and move that one a bit over and check what we have here. Won't look like much, but it just looks like a different kind of explosion that kind of, it's not, it's burst isn't all at once. So to make it even look better, we're going to start adding kind of like, and we can go darker. We're going to add kind of like the base on the first example, but it's just not big and bulky, as big and bulky. So we're just going to add kind of in between these kind of explosions like so come around and these are going to push out instead of going up and like shrinking or fading these are going to get blown out to the sides and do kind of sporadic and then we're going to use that same formula we did the first example and just do it throughout these this little explosion one over here though may have not been the best color so let's turn on the background so we see it better and we're just going to use the feel out the onion skin for our best let's turn on the preview and you can already see it's looking like a kind of like a bomb that has a bunch of different detonations in it or triggers it's giving it a different feel than the first one the first one's like a burst would be like a bursting of a monster and this one's more of like a, a mechanical explosion let's add a little bit more down here this out and this one's pretty big so let's make it kind of separate it this way but you can see it already starting to look different but the same it's kind of got the same smoothness smoothness so let's do the the ring that adds adds uh just a little more to it and this one actually looks really good when it kind of explodes to the side i know i said we can do it make it spin but uh i think the exploding to the side would be best for this we're gonna do it on the second frame here oh and we're wrong one it's gonna first time let's erase these and then and then move along let's make it white so we can see it with the onion skin on these colors are very close to the background <laughs> We'll undo that and do the same thing we did on the first one just quickly and you can see that adds a lot to it you can even do it a little different where it's coming out on this this angle as well we'll work on the front and we'll just quickly get through that though and the last side over here angle part and then we'll tackle this side area and you can see now it's starting to look like an explosion and we can go between them and see the difference both I, I love they look different feel different um but both are great so let's go ahead and start doing some some VFX, some cool minor VFX. I haven't been labeling these, but okay. Cool minor VFX. We are almost 40 minutes in. So great timing. Cool one I like to use for these. Um, it's kind of making little sparks. I'm actually gonna move. And I did this whole thing in the corner. Move it more in the middle. I like to use. So let's get an orange. Do an orange. 
here, this orange, and we'll use the script to just get quick colors. We're gonna make it bright. So this, the second frame, kind of where everything starts, we're just gonna do kind of a big line coming out and turn on onion skin. That line's just gonna shoot. This is shooting kind of like a spark and it's just gonna perhaps hit the ground here. And what's just kind of making a line and then it kind of fails off. So you do a line, it's going this way, hits this, perhaps it hits, bounces back up and then it trail off. And these are easy to do. It's just following a line. You make an arch, the arch moves over and these kind of, these kind of fade away like the little particles. And you can just make them a single line going into a single pixel and then carry on. It's, you do a little bend, this up here will fade and then the bend kind of fades and you do a little last bit. You can see in the preview, it's like a little kind of mechanical spark. And one thing we can do is go in a darker shade, lock alpha, and go to the front. And you can make the trail of it kind of like um, water. And then the front will be brighter. So you can even do that. The front is bright. The back end is all getting darker. Right front, right front. And then the front fade there. Do the darker tones. Those are fading. One there one here and that just gives the explosion a lot more by one little simple vfx thing so we can make a new layer and do a vfx like this as well and we can group this as we can group the entire these vfx and do um call it sparks just so we can turn off the entire group later and then you just want to do the same thing kind of a different spot say this one goes forward forward's always kind of weird weird to do Something like that looks okay. And then turn off the background. Those fade. This is gonna then hit the ground here, come up, ground. Yeah, the front's always a little trickier, but it's just a bigger arch and quicker fall. So quickly did that. And then I'm actually gonna, I think it's safe to make them on one layer, merge down. And then we'll do one more kind of one on the back here. Perhaps so big arch coming down, hits the ground, comes up, one last bounce. So then we can go to the front and we can do the colors again. Let's just do the trip, the back end of these. We'll turn on lock alpha so and then we'll make the front of them a little hotter, brighter. That fades out so then we can do some the original kind of trail fading so and then let's check out the final result. Looks great. So I hope you understand what I mean when, when this is more mechanical, kind of like a detonation, and this is kind of like a burst. So let's do uh let's do some more VFX. Since we're 45 minutes in, we'll do a couple more. One of my favorite ones is, uh, and you can mix and match, like we could leave the sparks on and we can do a new layer. This one can be VFX uh, Lightning. Lightning's one of my favorite ones. And we can get this blue, let's make it a bit more. And same start, you can, with, with Lightning, you kind of want to make these kind of sharp Vs almost, kind of like weird Vs, and then smaller ones as well. Kinda. And these are sometimes trickier, trickier to get the right kind of feel for them. So we'll start with this big one kind of coming around. And what you want to do is make it like kind of travel quickly where this is going to fade off this, this corner. And then that V is going to almost like flip this way and then and get smaller. So it's flipping and smaller. And this one kind of does the same in, in a direction, but even smaller. Then you kind of, you can skip a frame with lightning. It's really nice to skip frames and then kind of, it, it's similar to the particles, but it's more chaotic to say. So let's see how that, that looks just right now. Maybe we'll turn off the spark so we can get a better idea. It, it happens so quick, but you can see that it's light or sparks or not, you, you know what I mean. And one thing with lightning, instead of the sparks all happening at the same time it's cool with the lightning to be like okay and this one this frame has a big one coming out as well and we can do the same thing with the v's and the, they don't have to be perfect v's they can be kind of weird looking v's and then kind of fade out travel along the ground similar to the sparks and then with this these uh these arcs here it's cool to have them kind of far away so they're not touching all the time and then you skip a frame and make some kind of weird shape like that and then skip another frame and it just adds like this kind of like when it's blinking constantly it's like okay that's that's static that's electricity and like i said you can add them both it kind of gets a bit chaotic but you could add the most they kind of overlap here because we're, we're doing it fairly quickly it still looks cool let's uh add that one here this one kind of fading away or sparking sparking away and it'd be cool to add kind of something in the middle here that's like pulsing and it pulses away right this is experimenting at this point but just to get the the creative juices flowing on your end as well 
So let's uh this so it it just gives it a like a little like okay that's like a little ball of energy that's exploding and, and giving off this uh this this energy and you can kind of make this go like that come on this side fade out over here also fade out this way make this one kind of branch off into its own thing and now looking at this and if you're this far into the tutorial thank you um it's always fun to just like try different vfx this is the fun part of it where it's, it's like okay let's do lightning let's do sparks let's do let's do fire um but this is a cool one where i start to to really get ideas and, and it comes to life 